Howdy, folks. We're back with another full game of League. It's been a minute since I posted a full one. Rocking some good old Zack in jungle. You know, Bounce House, the slime boy himself. Been doing something a little different than usual, though. I've, instead of playing Tank Zack, I've been building more assassin based. Which has some interesting, you know, he's still tanky enough due to his passives. He's still tanky enough due to his passives that, you know, he t out tanks the lobby most games. It means that during the fight you'll notice a little bit more of a squishiness, but even for that, it's not bad. And he has the best emote in the game, right there. No one can change my mind. Yeah, I didn't know that redhead vision on my blue. What to do? But we're just gonna let it rock through and see what happens. This game starts a little rocky, especially in the bot lane. Our ADC ends up leaving partway through, but we actually managed to pull the win even in the 45, which is always an interesting moment. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Nice little level 3 gank there. He comes in and got a little bit of a trade hit on him, but that was not a fight we wanted to try to hold. No, nah, it's nice seeing a level 3 gank go well, though. He decided to hold middle, which ended up with E dying and Karma going top, which in a moment here ends up in a nice little double kill for us. So I don't, I don't know what their whole plan there was. Taking a nice turret shot there. But yeah, that was that was definitely an interesting decision by them, it seemed like. Come back here, try to help the A soul out, but it does not. This one doesn't go quite as well as I would, uh, as I hoped it would. He, he zooms, so he can't provide enough pressure to try to get them off my body. I don't think he gets killed here, though, so that's good. I think I might go for a Drake here in a moment after this bottom game. And I'm sad here because the Xerath dies, so I just did not have enough cooldowns up. But still, two for one isn't terrible. Draven to get more kills isn't the best for us. Yeah. Draven there spamming his team back up because he wants to be a part of any kills that happen. I think I go in here for a steal, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I try to go in for the steal, but it does not really work out in our favor. I'm not entirely sure what happened there with the A soul. I just karma shielded the hell out of herself. Sheesh. He doesn't seem to realize that he just does not win against. This, I should have just abandoned it. I clearly couldn't catch her out well enough, and it gave me enough time to revive and come back, which was just crazy to me. I was thirsty there. I think I go for a steal. Oh, no, I did. I did not get the steal here. No, I just got to the fight, get another nice double. And there we go. Running to Karma in the jungle, but I think I just, I think he goes, he gets the kill. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, they got the double there though. It was really close. I was, I was running for it. But I mean, you know, at this point, there's a C leaving this point. I already have my Night Heart started. I have a thousand damage on it. And you know, Zack Tank is still very fun. I still enjoy it. 
I started running the issue, you know, with Zack Tank, I really enjoyed going Heartsteel. Infinite stack and health, you build that with a demonic as a mage like Zack, which is melee for percent max health damage, you get really strong pretty fast. I started running the issue where Zack, the ganks either go unsuccessfully, where I'm not getting the hits to stack Heartsteel anyway, or the ganks went too successfully and I wasn't getting the hits to s upgrade my Heartsteel. Building Assassin means that when I E in, as long as I can hit the E in the combo, especially with First Strike, I think by the end of this match I had like 2,000 bonus damage and 2,000 bonus gold from First Strike. And that's that's pretty sizable right there. So I've been trying out more of this build, seeing how it feels. And I just get fucked up right there. And I definitely did not expect to die that quickly there when I jumped on there. Blue team's Like. You know, at this point, that is a 10 and 1 Draven. So Draven is very scary. Draven is very scary right now. He has a lot of gold advantage. I'm actually surprised that he hadn't gone as far as he could have there. At least in my mind. with them all the way back into the team. He thought he could jump on me before. I mean, Karma got me there, but I'm happy to get the Yi. Sorry, it's nice to shut down the Yi as a tank. dive there but Draven just shreds me by god damn it's not often you see a Draven reach this point but it's pretty scary when you see one do it that was kind of a funny moment I just I looked at the way that I think it was what Karma was behaving you know Karma kept poking out next to the tower and then coming back out next to the bush so I just guess there's someone in the bush and I was right and then that whole shenanigan filled fight at the end there. That was beautiful. Especially, I, I especially enjoyed just diving back onto the Draven and popping him. You see the level gap there between the disconnected ADC and myself. And even compared to the team, I am not exactly the highest. Yeah, they kind of screwed that fight up for themselves. Two and a half thousand damage on the Night Harvester now. And the mythic, the passive bonus, the ability haste is not pretty nice as well for Zack because he's very, you really want ability haste on Zack because his abilities are his entire everything. Let's dive in there for the quick luck skill, grab it. I think I get the E as well before I die, but I do die to the Jax, to my memory. I mean, I'm not even, you know, I dove kind of deep for that. I got their, their longest range artillery mage as well as their jungler. If the jungler is going to die that close to an objective, they damn well better take the enemy jungler with them. So, I'm not mad. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that trade. Screwing with Jax there. The poor A soul ran straight into this team and had no chance.
just slowly eat my way to chase her down. Ah, uh, yes. Like, I'm also, I'm also okay with dying there. Tried to help Olaf, and Olaf got another kill out of it, but can't win all of them. Jumping in on a few of them there, because they're prepping for Drake, which will be up in 40 seconds. And I believe that's where they surrendered. Yep, there we go. Pretty simple little usual nonsense. It's, it's saying that they're... Oh, the chat is still catching up. <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch. But yeah, I've been doing some Assassin Zack and Jungle. Got four items in that one. That's been my usual build path. Uh, Harvester into Shadow Flame and then either Cosmic or Demonic. Dem even without building health for the bonus Dark Pact, Demonic's still a pretty nice build because of, like, you know, 1.6% max health magic damage on a burn. It's pretty nice. And yeah, pretty fun game. I have another one to record here whenever I get around to it. And until then, let the good times roll. You can find me in other spots on YouTube. You can find me on TikTok. And you can find me on Twitch if you want to catch more of it. But have a good one.